Okay, it's just a quick look at, um, into the new greenhouse, show you what I'm up to. As you can see, these are all 30 litre pots, there's 10 of them. Um, you're probably thinking, what the hell are these doing in here? Well, this is where I'm going to start my potatoes in about another four weeks' time. Um, well, some of my potatoes, anyhow, my first earliest, the Duke Yorks. I'm not putting any compost or out like that into the buckets and um, any grow more or pot asher out now. I'm just going to leave them now um, as they are. Um, but in four weeks' time, I'm going to start the spuds off in the greenhouse. Uh, hopefully, um, I'll be able to take them outside later on in the year and uh, put them in the beds. What I'm going to have specially set up for them. And uh, then turn this into like for growing um, tomatoes and what have you in here. Temperature in here at the moment is uh, 40, well, it was 47 degrees. It stays around about 47 degrees. Uh, even in the minus bloody 11, it was uh, it was pretty warm. Uh, what it, what it is is these are the hot beds are starting to cool down a bit now. Uh, Obviously, and the the beds have sunk as well because of the the horse manure that's uh, decomposed. It's actually dropped down about, I'd say, two inches. So when I take the potatoes out, what I'm going to do is uh, put a load of uh, compost in to take them up to the top, and then I'm going the um, tomatoes straight into the soil. These things will be coming out. They're going to chickens. I keep saying it, but they're still here. It's a shame not to do it. I mean, there was I paid ten quid for the three of them, and like the thirty-six pound each. These things, these um, bamboo fencing, couldn't believe it when I saw them in B and Q. The price here, and like I said, I paid a tenner for the three of them. So you know, but there's this. This is the the greenhouse, the the new greenhouse. So what I'm going to do now is take it over to the old greenhouse and show you what I'm doing there. Hello, right, we're in the middle of the greenhouse now and I'm using this um, John Innes uh, seed compost and I'm seriously not impressed with it actually. I mean, that's what I've just pulled out of it. I mean, it's more like builder's rubble, the stuff that I've got here. Um, absolute, uh, it's, it's full of bloody big chunky stones. Um, but, like I say, I'm going to... I'm going to start some of my um, seeds off in it and only a few just to see how it goes on though. Like I say I'm seriously not impressed with the uh, with the actual compost itself. I mean look at the size of them stones what's inside this compost. It's incredible. Uh, okay you probably say it's good for drainage and what have you. Um, but I'm going to start off I'm going to put some of these money makers in it. Um, don't know if you can see this. Pretty difficult for me to use my goddamn fingers here. Uh, got no use. <laughs> I think I should start this video again. Like I said, I've got no use at all in my fingers. But uh, yeah, we're getting there anyhow. I'll just tear the bloody bag open, eh? There we go. Right, we've probably got about five seeds in here. So, let's use my scissors. Probably just chopped out half the bloody things in half there. Right, let's see how many seeds we get. Oh, I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, absolute lashings of them. Well, like I say, I'm not just growing for myself, I grow for just about everyone. So, put three to, to a, a pot and then I'll thin them out when, we, when they start to come through. Always do more. That way I pick all the better ones out and then uh, give the rest of them away. Not as if they're... They, the rubbish are out they, they don't work get pretty pretty dab at this Just got to remember where I'm putting them come blind as a bat Whoop, there's a more 
more than three went into that cellar can sell you or station as you like to call them let's take a couple out there we go need that one over there give them a bit of space yeah I'm definitely not impressed with this stuff uh, but hey ho yeah I think I've got them all there right now then here's the tricky bit because this, this stuff's I mean this stuff here it's, it's really really sodden so we'll sprinkle it over the top slight sprinkling I've lost my bloody riddle I've lent it to one of my mates and he's not here today so guess what I've got to do as you can see at least I'm getting some of these bloody big stones out uh, that's the main thing yeah it's like I say, I've, I'm, I'm looking at it now, and there's, to believe, it, believe it or not, there's more sand in this than anything else. Like bloody builder sand. Uh, let's cover that over. Make sure the seeds come in contact with the soil. Make sure we cover them all, cover them all up. Don't need that so no I've got to do now is just tidy him up a bit. What I'm doing here is absolutely incredible because that bloody brick there, unbelievable. I've got a carpal tunnel in both my hands and uh the feeling well there is no feeling like in my head. <laughs> but uh yeah it's at least if it can just cover the goddamn things over. Like I say, this absolutely sodden this so this soil here, this compost. Bloody, I really, really don't like these stones. I'm gonna take that bloody stone out as well. Right, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a test here now. Now, I mean, I'll, I'll be going these and I'll be giving them to everybody, right? So they're basically done, yeah? So now this is the John Innes, right? So that's going in the tray there. Let's empty this John Innes out of the way. I know everybody is swe I know everybody swears by this stuff, but I'm, I'm, myself, I'm not too keen on it. Like I say, I was just looking at it, it looks a bit iffy. Right, now this is the, I don't know if you can see this, like I say, this is the Verve, right, so Verve compost, this is the B&Q zone, so what we're going to do here, this is much better this stuff, actually this is damp as well, it's been in the compost bin believe it or not, right, let's put that there, Push all these down. I will be labelling them, I assure you. I haven't forgot. I think I've done more than I should have done, to be quite honest with you. Um, my hands starting to get tired now doing this, believe it or not. It's, might sound daft but I'll try working with the uh, bloody carpal tunnel all right here we go I'm gonna do exactly the same put a couple in each of these oops the three went in there Boring as hell, I know. This is why I don't normally do them. But I'm doing enough for everybody. When I say everybody, all my friends, they always leave it too bloody late to, to do theirs. And then they go, oh, well, we, sh we, sh we should have done it. Actually, I'm running out of uh, Let's take a couple of these out of here. That one in there, so there's two in that one. 
in there. Space that one out a bit. Right. Now then, light sprinkling of this. So much easier if it would have had me riddle. Right, I'm going to label them both and we see which one does the best. That's all I can say. Oh, I'm, my money's on the um, on the Verve, the B&Q uh, compost, but you know, I'll have to wait and see. Again, this this compost is damp, so I won't, I won't need to to spray it. It should all. The seeds are touching the compost. It's a bit untidy, but um, we're not we're not going after beauty. It's uh, we just want the goddamn seeds to come up. Now, I'm not going to put actually. I can tell the difference between the two there. Right, so uh, I don't know. If we just go up there. Just take the camera off. So obviously this one's a John Innes, and that one there is the the Verve uh, Verse or whatever you like to call it, being Q's own. Now this here is more like gravel, and obviously this this is the the finer compost. So I'm going to go and get a couple of uh, labels now and stick them in, and uh, see what we see. In these ones here, I'm going to put. Um, well, I've used all the tomatoes. So I think I'm going to go out, start a couple of these off as well, the, the cucumbers as well, the F1s. Because this is the time of year you should be doing, well actually, start of February it says. And uh, what we're about four or five days away from the start of February. So I'm going to put them in anyhow. And I'll continue doing all these and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, back in a bit. Well, as you can see... Um, all my trays now are full of um, seeds. I'm doing another experiment here on these um, these little pots here. Now inside these pots, that's uh, the Bean Q's Q's own compost, and that is John Innes uh, potting comp compost number one. In that, now in each of them pots is one seed of um, cucumber. These are the cucumbers. Uh, Telegraph F1s, so you don't get many seeds per per satchel. Like six seeds I got there, so these I've done three in the John Innes and three in the the Verve Verve Valve. Well, I can't pronounce it. Anyhow, it's uh, the B and Q's own compost. So we're going to see what happens there, whether they they come up or not. Um, the rest of them, I've been doing them in a mixture of, uh, again, uh, John Innes and uh, being Cuso. So we just have to wait now and see what happens. Um, it won't be too long before we get some seeds, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's go and show you this um, bush that I've just been given. Uh, it's at the back of my me, uh, me allotments. Right. Come down to the back of the allotments. These beans are doing all right. They keep falling. They keep die dropping back, and I need to tie these up. There, my girls there, up to mischief. <laughs> Little devils they are. Uh, which brings me on to this bush here. What we've been dropped off for me. Um, I found it plonked on me um, my table near my greenhouse this morning. Um, a friend of mine, Paul, he's been promising it me for a while. And, uh, I've not been able to go and get it, and anyhow he's, he brought it over for me, I couldn't carry it, I couldn't move it about, it's just too heavy, anyhow he, he dug it up for me, and he dropped it off, and uh, my mates helped me drop it drop it in there, and we've, uh, it's all buried now into the uh, 
back of the allotments. It's next to the rhubarb actually, which is coming up again. Hopefully, I'm gonna. If you look at the bushes down here, it's gonna be like that all along here eventually. Now I've been training these brambles, so you can see them along the top of the fence. I'm gonna start weaving in them in and out of the um, the fence here. Now Salford Council, in the wisdom, um, replaced the the fence, which is a good thing. But what they did, they took in this stretch along here from. You can see where they start again here, where them them bushes are down there. So they, they re, when they replaced this part here, they took all the bushes. So now I've been trained. I'm tra been training for the last. Well, the bushes continue down to about halfway down here where they was missing. So I've from about where my fingers pointing now, all the way up here, I've actually planted these, and they've come up over the last couple of years. Now these, I've been training these, um, like I say, down here, these brambles, and uh, hopefully I'll cover the back of the, the plot. Now it's a great habitat for small birds along here. Now we've got wrens and we've got long-tailed tits, we've got uh, pied wagtails, we've got blue tits, finches of all different types. Um, we've got blue jays, we've got a mass a massive um, different birds on here. There's some birds I don't even recognise, I've never seen them before. Um, but they all seem to love these bushes here. And they feed off the berries and what have you in the in the winter. In the, the summer they, they, they love to nest in them and what have you. And they're a great way to escape the magpies. So they jump, they, they fly in there in amongst all these fawns. And the magpies won't follow them because they just get cut to ribbons, so they're a perfect escape route for the smaller birds. So yeah, hopefully in the next couple of years, all along here will be just a, a, be a wall of um, hopefully brambles and rose bushes, and I think it's called a rose hip. That I'm not too sure. I'll look, I'll find out for sure, and I'll post it up. Right. So anyhow, um, Let's get back to the greenhouse because there's something else I want to tell you before I um, kick the video into touch. And there's something I want to show you as well, so let's get back up a to the greenhouse. Friend of mine has given me, um, give me this wooden frame greenhouse. Now there's no glass in it. Um, I didn't really want it for the glass, I just wanted it for the frame really. Now it's uh, 10 foot by 7 foot wide by, I think it's about 7 foot high at the apex. Now it's one of them where... It comes in like that and then goes like that to a point, so it comes out and it goes down. It's not straight sided like the other, uh, my 12 foot greenhouse that I've got what I converted into a chicken pen. Now, I can show you a little clip of it uh, in a minute and then um, I'll let, you, let you have a look so you can see what it is. So, a lot of work's going to be involved in um, bringing it back up to spec, but once it's brought up to um, a stable, um, well, you know, it's all the, the the bits that are broke off have all been replaced, and um, it's got a, f a lot of screws in it to hold it together. Um, I've, I'm in two minds what to do: whether to put a roof on it, like I did with the other chicken pen, and put mesh around the out outside of it, and turn it into another chicken pen. That means I'm going to have to make another coop. Can I fancy getting a um, getting different breeds of chickens now I just don't I've, I've got no other browns at the moment I was thinking of getting a, a few of these um, exotic breeds um, because basically I, I do like the chickens they're really good my my chickens are really fun to, to be around they they don't run away from you well I've got one what runs um, she's the one with the um, the white ackles on the back the one I call Gemma She's okay, she'll come up to you, but you put your hand out to, to stroke her, she legs it. <laughs> the others, they jump all over me on my shoulders and what have you. I've got a picture um, of my daughter with a chicken on her shoulder. Um, and what I'll do is I'll use that as my thumbnail for the um, this video. It's so funny. Um, yes, and they're very tame. So I'm thinking of getting more different breeds, some brammers and what have you. Uh, Leghorns. Um, but I'm going to have to get them all around the same age, so it's going to be very difficult. And I'm going to, the problem there then is, do I get them from eggs, or do I get them from like 
two weeks old chicks now if I get them from two weeks old chicks there's every chance I'm going to get a few cocks in amongst them all and we can't have cocks on waste allotments so that's, that's a bit of a problem the only thing is the only other thing is if I get all the chickens all together and go go around the shops make go around the, these different breeders um, order the chickens for the same same day or, or the next day after and get all the chickens and bring them all together in one go um, I can actually be assured of getting females and, and not getting cocks and I get them at point of lay as well hopefully so if I can get say eight more um, probably eight different breeds of chicken it's going to take some doing but uh, I'm, I might fancy doing that and the other thing is if I don't do that um, I can go to plan B and make a cage for my brassicas out of this um, particular greenhouse like I say it's 10 foot long 7 foot wide about 7 foot high at the apex um, one side of it halfway up all is like wood oh you can just see they see the video so let's go and have a look at it uh, I'll give it a walk round and show you right here she is this is the greenhouse that I've been given it looks a bit wonky and wobbler it looks terrible doesn't it all the plastic all over it here's a door it's still this door slides up and down um, all this wood that's along gear doesn't belong on it but I'll be taking the wood because I can use the wood let's come inside here now this is the base that he's given me it just bolts to it I don't know if you can see that uh, there's a few panes of glass in it but like I say the majority of it's all going to be coming out I don't know what this is here this, this is a piece missing off here which comes across there I'm going to have to fix that as well but it's very windy in here but like I say it's, uh, it's, it's 8 foot wide it's about 7 foot high and it's wood and like you see how this, the, the sides are all shaped, you come up on a slight angle in and it goes up. But it all, takes to, it all comes to pieces. So I've got three weeks to strip it down and move it. Hopefully we can do something with it. It looks a bit shocking, to, to be quite honest with you. There's a, there's a lot of it missing here. On the, I just noticed a hell of a lot missing here on this corner, this post here but if I can copy, come off this side here and copy that I can get the actual frame right then in fact I think it's still here, yeah it's here, there's a, the frame's here it's just the way it is right I'm going to get out of this wind now because it's blowing a bloody gale here you can hear the chickens next door, these are brammers and go Oh no no! Oh, there's one. These, this is um, Jim's chickens. I don't know if you can see them. There's a little. This is what I want to have different breeds like uh, Jim's got here. <laughs> That's a lovely one. That has a leg on that. I think the one with the furry feet. I know the Brammers. They're Brammers. She's a fat little devil there, there isn't she? Look at that one. Yeah, so on this side it's like uh, like wood along here. So yeah, watch this space. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do do that with it yet, but it does need a lot of work. Um, but you know, you don't get nothing for nothing. You got when you get uh, the opportunity for something, you, you jump at it. I say it needs a lot of repl a lot of pieces replacing, and um, hopefully I'll be able to do that. Well, at least it's got a door on it. <laughs> this plastic's going to be a nuisance getting rid of the bloody plastic. But he's, he's, you can see where he's screwed it all together. So basically, the first thing I'm going to have to do is screw up, take all this wood off it here, get all these bloody battens off it. Now I've got to find somewhere to put all this on my plot um, so I've got to cl clear the space for it right. so 
hopefully yep. that's will be mine shortly all these bits what you see here not, but it's screwed onto the the frame it's just to hold the bloody plastic on it you take all that off and then it, it shouldn't look too bad actually you can see where it's screwed into the you look at the top you see these buttons here they don't really belong on the greenhouse itself right let's get back to potting shed because it's absolutely freezing it's windy out there well, you saw it. It does, it does look bad, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely terrible. But you take all that that, that wood, what's um, holding all the bloody plastic on, it won't look too bad. I say I'm going to keep all that wood because I can use it to patch the parts that have um, snapped off and missing. So obviously I'm going to, have to mirror some of the parts that are on it to to match it all up so they all look pretty much the same. I couldn't. It's going to take a while to build it as well to fix it all and fabricate it. I'm going to have to, to get it over here, do a load of pictures of um, how I took it in pieces so I know where they all go together, mark it obviously, and then, um, yeah, slowly but surely um, repair all the broken bits and then sometime in the middle of the year bring it all together, um, fix it all down put mesh around the perimeter um, it's, it's an ongoing it's a, it's a good good six to eight month project this because uh, it, not only have I got to sort the, the, the actual frame out um, I've got to make another chicken coop yeah so uh, anyhow like I say it's pretty windy out there and I'm absolutely freezing now I've been around that bloody pl that thing uh, so I'm going to spend uh, 10 minutes warming myself up, then I'm going to go and disappear off all and uh, get, get something to eat, I think. Yeah, I'm off. So I'll see you all later. I hope you like this update. Uh, like I say, it's just, it's just, I know there's a lot of different things um, that I've thrown into the video, but hey-ho, wedding roll. See you later, folks.